Well, Jay, when you look at this Raiders team, let's start with things offensively. This rushing attack has been non-existent. So mm -hmm. what do the Raiders need to do to kind of get things going there first off? Well, I, number one, they need to get Josh the, the ball, right? I mean, that's the bottom line. He's been one of the best running backs. you got to get it going. Right now, they just they don't really don't have an identity offensively. They still haven't found what they want to be. Um, they have certain sparks at different times during the games, but they haven't really put it together. So um, they'll get better and better. And, you know, they got a Monday night game, so everybody's going to be watching. So it's always fun to play on Monday night. Devontae Adams uh, hasn't been very coy that he does want more tar targets in this offense, but what does his coaching staff need to do to get him uh, more targets, especially when he is shown different defenses? Yeah, well, it, yes, he does need to get the ball more. Okay, you got I mean, the guy's one of the best in the league, right? Okay, there's no question, but that I was doesn't mean you don't call plays for him. You know, he does get double covered a lot, right? Uh, it means other guys have got to step up. My estimation is other guys have got to make some catches so that they can't always double Devontae, right? You know, everybody else has got to do their part. And that's what I'm saying. They haven't been consistent enough yet in that um, because even last year, Devontae got, okay, I was watching, you know, I've been at the games and all that. He can still beat double coverage, but if there's nobody else making plays underneath them, it, it's pretty easy to take him out of the game. So uh, they'll get there. They'll figure it out. You, out of all people, know that playing the quarterback position is not an easy job. Uh, just so far, how do you think this quarterback room is painting out? Well, I, you know, it's not what they planned, right? We all, everybody wanted Jimmy to come in and, and do what Jimmy does, win football games, uh, but he's been banged up. Um, Brian's tried to step up, you know. Last week, I don't know really what happened. You know, they just couldn't get anything going, right? Um, but I think they'll get better. I think, you know, Jimmy will come in back getting those things they'll, they'll figure it out they got to make a run and they get to play on monday night so great time to shine and get it together what do the raiders need to do to maybe find more of an offensive identity and that spark yeah well i think it's going to start with somebody making a big play that's where it always starts you know that gets everybody excited josh making a big run or a screen or a big catch by Devonte, uh something like that you need somebody to step up make that big play um football's a game of motion you, you got to have emotion. You got to play with emotion. They're big kids. Okay. I know they're grown men, but they're big kids and they thrive off of that. So I'm looking for somebody to come in, make a big play. And then the offense, everybody will be like, Hey, let's go. Let's get it after it. Want to walk down memory lane with you for a bit. 1988 was your oh, first geez. Monday night football game against the Denver Broncos. Uh, you guys were down 24 at the half, but you came back to win in overtime, 30 to, to 27. What makes these Monday night games prime time so special? Well, everybody's watching. So you know that all your peers are watching the game, right? And it's the only time really all year that you get that opportunity to shine. Uh, where you know everybody else is watching. Um, so that's what makes it special because you get to make a name for yourself and everything else. And yeah, that Monday night game, you know, I had been with the Raiders, I think a total of eight days, you know, from my trade and started the game and we were awful. And I was awful, you know, at the beginning. And we came in with, with Coach Shanahan and we made some adjustments and lo and behold, we just played hard. And next thing you know, we're going to overtime and we win it in overtime. It is tough to win in this yeah. league. Uh, Talk about the maybe the kind of pressure that Josh McDaniels is under right now. Well, it's immense. There's no question. It's a, it's a win league, right? I mean, back when I played, they had a little more leeway, you know, but but now it's a, a rapid turnover. So, you know, I'm sure he's feeling the pressure, but, but Josh is a great offensive mind. That's why he got the job, okay? And he's just got to relax, get it done. Again, he can only do so much. The guys on the field have to make the plays. You know, that's where it comes down to. Uh, coaches can do a lot, but, you know, players have to go out and make plays. I'm, I'm looking at it. Players just have to, everybody's just got to play better, you know, and stop stressing. you got to be able to play loose and free in this game to be really good. Want to touch on things on the defensive side of the ball. It's year two under defensive coordinator Patrick Graham. We've seen the Raiders, yes, uh, progress since last season. They had a shutout uh, mm -hmm. second half against the Chargers. A couple takeaways as well from the Packers. Yeah. The game against the Bears, they regressed a little bit. But just what are you seeing uh, on that side of the ball from them? Well, they, they are getting better and better. Now, in today's football, with the way the the rules are, you've got to have a good pass rush or you've got to be really good in the back end. If you're if you're so-so on both of those, people are going to exploit you, right? Uh, 
uh, other than Max Crosby, we really haven't had a full pass rush, right? Okay, so we've got to get other guys to get up there, get that pressure, because that makes the guys on the back end. They don't have to cover for three and a half, four seconds. That's hard. With, with, with today's rules, playing cornerback is the toughest thing out here, okay, running around with these guys. So we've got to get a little more pressure up there, get a little more aggressive up front. Lastly, the Raiders need to do what to get a win against the Detroit Lions on Monday Night Football? Uh, it's going to sound really weird. They need to have fun. They really do. Uh, everybody's, you know, talking about this, that. There's pressure and all that. You got to play loose and fast. So you got to have fun playing the game. I think if they just relax, they have some fun. I think good things will happen. Jay, thank you so much for the time. We appreciate it. You bet. Thank you.